And there you can see on your screen, the seats are rotating for the crew. This and a half minutes out from splashdown and our main chutes have deployed. Main chute descent rate nominal. The ocean there, Dragon is about to touch down in just a few seconds here. And working their way towards the vehicle are the SpaceX and Axiom support teams that will be present uh, for the next phase of, of our splashdown coverage today. Um, at this point, we'll be waiting for, uh, for confirmation of, of the crew's um, safe landing, and then we'll move into the phases of, the, of this mission, which are really, let's recover the vehicle, let's recover the crew, let's make our assessments, and at that point, we'll be covering. And we have splashdown of the AX-4 crew back on planet Earth. Welcome home. You can now see on the screen SpaceX support personnel uh, beginning the rigging procedures, pulling them onto uh, the recovery vessel here for, for the Dragon spacecraft. And you can see on your screen... Dragon copies. Dragon SpaceX. Cabin pressure must be equalized with the outside environment. Now, once the hatch is open... And there she is. We see Commander Peggy Whitson, all smiles, exiting the spacecraft grade. And we've got our pilot, Shubanshu Shukla, as our second crew member exiting the spacecraft. And some big smiles, as you said. India reached a major milestone for the nation's space. Our third crew member now egressing the vehicle. There is Swavos Uznanski Vishniewski of Poland. Swav is all smiles for this, <laughs> which I love to see. Now, Poland's participation in the AX4 mission through the IGNIS program marked a pivotal step in the country's growing role in space exploration. Astronaut Swavos Uznanski Vishniewski. And last but not least, mission specialist Tibor Kapu. Hungary marked a significant milestone in its space ambitions with the AX-4 mission as astronaut Tibor Kapu became the first Hungarian to reach the International Space Station. 